keep you updated. And less than 24 hours after getting the official announcement that the Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl was canceled, it was business and practice as usual for the Central Michigan football team. The Chippewas were originally set to smack helmets against Boise State on Friday at Arizona Stadium, but once it was determined Boise State couldn't fill the team because of COVID-19, the matchup was canceled. Now, Central Michigan's football squad seen arriving to Tucson here will be making the four-hour drive east down Interstate 10 to take part in the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. The Chippewas will match up against Washington State, and this is sunny Tucson and Arizona Stadium and footage of Central Michigan's practice this morning. The team will remain here in Tucson, including preps, practice and team meetings until Thursday, the day before their Friday game in El Paso. The team will drive to El Paso on Thursday. So until Thursday, we in Tucson are still the hosts of CMU, the uh, or MC or yeah, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, the team declined all comment until this point to local media, but the school's athletic director Amy Follin did issue this statement. A big thanks to the Arizona Bowl for their incredible hospitality. This community is fantastic. The Bowl community is, committee rather is a first class operation and we are grateful for everything they have done for us. Thank you for a great experience in Tucson. We are looking forward to getting to El Paso and taking part in the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. In our news segment, of course, Nylander talked to Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl officials to get more insight on how the team swap with the Sun Bowl came about. We are also learning more from the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl Executive Director, Bernie Olivas. It's no surprise the Barstool Sports Arizona Bowl was hoping the opposite could happen since Washington State was in El Paso and without a bowl team to play, folks here in Tucson would have loved to have drawn the Cougars players to suit up right here in the old Pueblo, but they are staying put in the Sun Bowl in the second longest running bowl game in history to the granddaddy of them all, the Rose Bowl. Talking to a lot of people, including the executive director of the Tucson Bowl, and, and, and uh, I know that uh, she would have probably liked for Washington State to go up there and play in there, and then that would have left us without a bowl. And of course, we wanted somebody to come and play in our game. So, talking to the commissioners and talking to athletic directors and talking to everybody, you know, uh, I think we, we came to a, you know, we, a, an agreement where they would come and play here in the, in the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. Well, here's the good news. The festivities planned for Barstool Sports Arizona will continue on Friday and the Taco Bell New Year's Eve downtown bull bash is still a go. It kicks off at 6 p.m. on Congress and Fifth Avenue with live entertainment and the taco drop as the New Year's counts down. That's it for now. I'm Paul C. Carlo. We'll be right back.